Hi guys! Welcome sa Biangri Live TV featuring Hugot Sipnayan. At para sa topic natin for today, we're going to have some discussions on finding slope of a line from the graph. So tara guys, alamin natin to and let's have fun with mathematics. For our topic for today, we have some objectives. Our objectives is to illustrate linear equations in two variables. So, po yung ating code and week natin. Under nito yung mga primary objective natin. Number one, to define what slope is and determine the nature of the line based on its slope. So, what is slope? Pag sinabing slope kasi, guys, ito yung stiffness of the line. It's a measure of stiffness kung gaano katarik ang isang line. So, it was considered a slope as rise over run or change in y over change in x. So, in symbols, para siyang triangle in y over triangle in x. Ang basa doon sa triangle, change. Ito yung pagbabago ng rise at saka ng run. Dito, mahusuhat natin kung yung tarik ng isang line ay nagbabago hindi. Basa sa kanyang run at saka sa bago sa kanyang rise. So, lahat guys ng linear equation, ang equation niya ay line. So, ito yung mga example ng iba't ibang uri ng slope. So, meron tayong apat na condition. At meron din tayong apat ng nature ng line. First, yung positive slope. Second is negative slope. So, kumbaga sa pag-biking, uphill, downhill, meron tayong zero slope o yung straight line o yung straight na daan. At meron tayong negative slope o yung free fall, kung mga ipapaba talaga. So, those are the four types of slopes. So, ano yung pinagkaiba ng isang slope sa tatlong kasama niya? So, let's have, let's have some definition. Let's have the first nature ng line. So, let's start with positive slope. So, that is our line. So, paano malalaman yung slope ng graph na yan? At paano malalaman yung nature ng line? So, ang unang gagawin nyo, find two distinct point of the line. Ibig sabihin, ito yung point talaga sa Cartesian plane natin, dun sa line natin, na magkakaroon tayo ng ordered pair. So, dito, ang ginawa ko, kinuha ko yung intercept. So, may ordered pair siya na uh, 0, 3, at negative 2, 0. So, for, for now, focus muna tayo dun sa mga point na yun. Tapos, bibilangin natin yung unit from one point to another, vertically, horizontally. Kung saan sa nakatapat, vertical to horizontally. Kasi, dun natin malalaman yung rise over run niya. So, pag tayo magbibilang, syempre, we're going to consider slope as rise over run. So, bibilangin natin yung vertically muna, since we're talking about rise, pag taas, which tend to be on the y-axis. Kaya mangyayari, bibilang tayo ng 1, 2, and 3 unit ang rise niya. Ibig sabihin, ang changes natin sa y ay 3. Now, we're going to count for the run, or for the x value, that will be 2 units for the run. Now, having our slope, it will be 3 units over 2 units. So, meron tayong 3 units at saka 2 units. So, our slope is 3 all over 2. So, guys, ito yung note natin. Ito yung nature ng line. If the slope is positive, the line rises from left to right. Mapapansin ninyo, mula sa sa left, which is the negative part, pagpunta sa sa right, pataas which is the positive side. Let's see po natin, ah. kapag positive ang slope ng isang line, it rises from left to right. So, pataas. Now, let's have the next nature of the line. So, next example natin, let's have two distinct points again. So, yung po yung first point natin, that would be our second point. 
So, bibilangin natin ulit siya vertically and horizontally. Now, having our rise and run, so we have one, two, we have two unit rise, tapos, three unit run. So, yun po yung slope natin. Napasin nyo, negative yung two. Bakit po negative? Kasi pababa po siya. So, let's have the nature of the line. The nature of the line tells us if the slope is negative, the line falls from left to right. Kung kanino po, ay tumas naman siya. Ngayon naman siya ipapakaba. Okay? Now, let's have the next example. The nature of the line kapag horizontal. So, find two distinct points of the line. So, doon tayo sa pinakadulong part niya. So, let's not count it vertical and horizontally. Kung nakapansin nyo, yung vertical niya, so, zero, wala tayong rise. Wala mo siyang paggalaw, di ba? For the run, we're going to count them. It will be six units. So, having our slope, so, rise over run, change in y over change in x. So, mayroon tayong zero units over six units. And the slope is zero. So, tandaan nyo, Ang nature ng line kapag ang slope ay 0 ay horizontal line siya. So, slope ay 0, horizontal line. Now, let's have the next nature of the line. Ito po yung last nature of the line. Kapag siya naman ay vertical, so let's have two distinct point again. We're going to call vertical and horizontally. So, muna x, y muna bago x. So, let's have count the rise. So, meron tayong 6 units. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. So, for the run, it will be 0 units. So, biniling natin. Wala naman siyang pagtakbo. So, having our slope, it is 6 units over 0 units. Ngayon, ang slope niya ay undefined or no slope. Bakit po? Kasi, whenever we're trying to divide number by 0, automatic, nagigis siyang undefined. So, ibig sabihin, ang slope ng isang vertical line ay undefined. So, yun po yung ating nature ng mga line at yun yung pagkuha ng slope gamit ang ating graph. For, uh, for the general recall natin, so guys, tandaan nyo, ang slope ay measure ng stiffness. So, slope is the change of y over change of x or the rise over run. So, tandaan nyo, ang graph lagi ng linear equation na isang line. Tapos, meron tayong apat na nature ng line. Kapag positive siya, it rises from left to right. Kapag negative siya, it falls from left to right. At kapag siya ay horizontal, ang slope niya ay zero. Kapag naman ang slope niya ay undefined or no slope, siya po ay vertical line. So, try natin if you really understand our discussion. So, I'm going to give you five minutes to answer the following question. And please write the correct answer for each Number. So, meron po tayong 3 item. This is good for 5 minutes, guys. So, I'm going to be back after 5 minutes.
the the answer for our items are the following we have the slope for the first item which is negative 3 over 2 and the answer is letter b for our nature so the slope is negative it falls the line falls from left to right so for our next item we have the slope which is 2 so our nature of the line is letter a the slope is positive the line rises from left to right and for our last item we have the slope 0 and let's have this nature which is letter c the slope 0 the line is horizontal i hope you learned something from that video guys so sana tamang sagot ninyo at naiintindihan niyo siya so thank you guys i hope you learned something from this video so for more video guys kindly subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell so ito pa yung mga page ko sa facebook and Instagram and also to you sa YouTube natin. So kindly share this video with your students, your colleagues and your co-teachers o sa lahat ng mga tao na hirapan o nagkakaroon ng math anxiety. So guys, ingat po and have a nice day. Tsaka ingat po kayong mga kahugot, carry life and let's have fun with the mathematics again next time. Ingat po, God bless. For more video, tutorial video guys, you may try the other video below. Thank you and mabuhay po tayong lahat.